Hey guys, it's Amanda, and for today's video, we are going to be talking all about periods. So, if you're a boy, I recommend you leave, or you can say, you know, maybe your girlfriend, mom, sister, or whatever needs a little bit of assistance, and you were, for some reason, the only one there that can help. But, we're going to be talking about periods, about what to do when you get it. I'm going to give you guys some tips to relieve cramps. I'm going to talk to you guys about when I first got my period and one of my horror stories, and then just things that I like to do when I want my period. This is mainly for my ladies out there, especially if you are about to start your period, you just started, you never got it before, and you're kind of nervous, you know, all of that stuff. So if you want to know more about that that I just mentioned, then just keep on watching. So before I make this video any longer than it has to be, let's just get started. Okay. So first, we're going to start with the basics, which are what to do if you actually start your period. So when you start your period, you obviously need something to help clean up your mess down there. So for that, there are two options that you can do. The first option that I recommend for beginners, which is what I did, is to use a pad. So I use U by Kotex. These are just the regular ultra thin ones. I usually prefer the ones with wings, which means it'll grab onto your underwear and most likely won't slide anywhere. These usually never slide anywhere, but you know, it's possible that they can. But I like this brand because their packaging is actually like cloth. So it's much more quiet to rip open in a school bathroom and so you're not that nervous about it or like embarrassed. If pads tend to not be your thing, then you guys can use tampons. So for tampons, I just used my first one ever this year. So it's kind of nerve-wracking the first time you use it. So the ones that we use here in my house are by Tampax. And so I'm pretty sure every single tampon brand has different sizes. Just like pads have different sizes. But for Tampax... Um, the yellow ones are usually regular. They have light and super plus, which is like when you're, like when you just had a baby and then you can, like, yeah, like, yes. But yeah, so with tampons, I wouldn't really recommend using them right when you start your period, only because it's a little bit scarier to use, and I didn't, but it's all about you and what you want to do. So my first little quick tip that I'm just going to throw in here real quick is if you start your period and you're scared to stain yourself at night and you don't have the night pads which are the very very long ones what you can do is use a regular pad and then get a liner and just put it along the end of the pad more towards your butt area put it horizontally that way it'll pick up anything that decides to slide a little further so yeah and talking about liners let me like get into my next thing so once you've had and completed your first period what you're going to want to do like towards the end of it is wear what's called a panty liner which will clean up whatever spotting you have extra or just any discharge. It sounds gross. You're going to get it. Don't worry. If you've ended your period and stuff still comes out a little bit, it's normal. Happens for everyone. So for that, you want to wear a panty liner, which is like a pad, but it's really, really, really thin and really small. So these are also by you by Kotex. So yeah. Also for extra support, what some people tend to do is put on a tampon and put on a liner or a pad, depending on how heavy they are. That way it can clean up anything that might bleed through. So yeah. So now for like hygiene and stuff. Let me talk about some things that we personally use that I promise will change your life. So there's this brand called Summer's Eve and they are all about your women area and your baby factories, you know. So because of that, they are able to make things that are well suited for that area. They won't, like, I don't want to say hurt, but like, they're especially formulated to not irritate that area and actually to cleanse it. So... One of the first things that they have are cleansing cloths, which just come in little packs like this. The little packs look like this. It comes with one cloth, and the purpose of these is to clean up when you're on your women's cycle. They have, like, something in it that'll, like, clean up the odor, and it just does all of that. And, yeah, so these are a lifesaver, I promise you. It's like when you need a little pick-me-up. That's how they advertise it, I guess. But these are really really good by the way non-spawns like with any of this honestly i'm not even relevant enough but this is how you know that i truly like these products 
max. So next for when you shower, just use the Summer's Eve First Sensitive Skin Little Wash and you don't have to use this all over your body. So what you would do is just wash your body with whatever wash thing that you want and then once you're ready to clean your women area just go ahead and put this on your loofah and clean it that way and then it's just it's perfectly fine you know like everything is good so besides that that's all for the beginner stuff so now let's just get into the tips to help cramps because I promise you you'll get at least one I personally went so long without ever getting a cramp and then they started coming in so let's just talk about how to relieve those and yeah or just make them a little less crampy I guess so my first tip would be to eat dark chocolate but by eating the dark chocolate it can help you regain it so make sure to just try to get anything that's like natural dark chocolate number two is a tip that literally everyone says it helps with everything not just cramps but it is to drink water Drinking water will help eat bloating and fatigue, so that's really good, you know, it just helps. Number three is to use a lavender scent, whether it's a candle, a spray, like anything. A lavender scent will help you to relax, which would be good because then it helps you, like, just be comfortable in, like, the area that you're at. So, lavender, just make sure to have a lavender scent around you. Number four, surprisingly, is to walk or lightly jog. I know when you have cramps, it's like hard to move and you just feel gross because it hurts, but this will actually decrease the severity of your cramps. And I remember this because it actually happened for me once. I was cramping so bad, I went to the nurse and she was like, run. Like, when you get to your gym period, run. It'll actually help. And so I did that and then it did. Like, all my cramps like went away. I didn't like run like hella fast. I guess you could say I jogged. But yeah, so that one actually really does work I know from experience so yeah number five is simply to just take a warm shower or a heating pad whether that's electronic or you just put a warm cloth that's like or not warm cloth but a cloth that's like damp into the microwave for a few seconds just either one like that just anything to apply heat to your lower stomach area or your lower back that will really help I used to always use um, cloths like with water I wouldn't ever really use an actual heating pad just because I didn't like them they weren't as comfortable as just having a regular towel laying there but that will definitely reduce like the severity of your cramps as well because it's just like the heat kind of releases it if that makes sense it just it works you know like when you're sore I usually like to take warm showers because it just helps it works kind of the same way Number six is to reduce the amount of caffeine intake. So coffee will cause your body to retain more water, causing you to feel bloated, and it'll just really make the cramps worse. So try to not drink as much caffeine, especially when you're on your period. Like when you're not on your period, like you can drink it, whatever, even though it's still not that healthy for you. But just try to stay away from it when you're on your period. That way your cramps can kind of go away too. Number seven is that toilet paper can actually be used as a DIY iPad so even if you think like oh I'm never gonna come into that situation where I don't have a pad like when I use the bathroom you will it's happened to me multiple times and maybe like everybody else around me has did not have a pad so I had to wait with that for a few periods so let me explain how you would set it up so just go to the bathroom if you don't have a pad or whatever because you didn't take your rag with you and you didn't know you were gonna start your period what you can do and what I do is I will get toilet paper I sit to where I'm at and I wrap it around the part of my underwear that goes between my legs and then that will kind of help to like slow down whatever comes like through. Does that make sense? You know, it sounds really, really gross, but trust me, it'll work. Just kind of put a little bit up there and then, you know, it'll help out until you can get a pad or a tampon. Just don't leave it there all day because I promise you that will not help you all day. And lastly, number eight, this tip has helped me so many times because I promise I promise you, whoa, okay. So my mom told me this and at first I never believed her, but you know, I kind of did it and it worked. So whenever you stain yourself, whether it was in the middle of the night and the stain is kind of dry by the morning or it just happened, what you want to do is take that piece of clothing off, take whatever it was that got stained off, you go over to a sink 
What you're going to do is wet it a little bit, put a little bit of hand soap, and rub the cloth against itself. This will get the stain out, I promise you. If I showed you how many pieces of clothing I've gotten stained yet saved by washing it, you'd be surprised. So honestly, just do that. It really, really does help. Unless the stain has been there for like days, it probably won't come out. But make sure to do it as soon as you catch it. I usually have this problem just by waking up in the morning. You know, I stained myself while I was asleep. But yeah. So that tip will save you to not throw away like 50 pairs of underwear. Because now you can wash them and they won't be stained anymore. So that's good. So next are going to be two of my period stories. So first, we're going to start with when I first got my period and what happened to me. How I reacted or whatever, right? Okay. So I had gone to the bathroom, you know, normal, and I went pee and when I looked at my underwear I saw that there was like a small little spot of red and at first I thought I was going to die because you know period wasn't the first thing in my mind. So I was just like, like I got so scared but I was like you know what, like whenever well, it's nothing right? So I put my underwear back on you know, it's cool, we Gucci. But then, like a few weeks, not a few weeks later, what the heck, a few days later I went to my dad's house. And so I went to go pee again and I saw the same thing. So in my head I was like, did I start a period or not? Like, what's happening? So I put a pad on, you know, I was kind of nervous. I was like, oh my god, like, I just started my period. Like, first time ever. But, yeah. So I had a pad on. So the rest of the week went by and I noticed that there was nothing on that pad or any other pad that I put on after that. So I was like, okay, I'm not on my period. So I just stopped wearing my pads, right? Okay. One time. I went to bed, woke up in the morning, and I had a little surprise. So I'm guess I'm guessing you can guess what it was, and that was when I officially started my period. So luckily, it was at home and not at school, so it was easier for me to hide and clean up everything versus if it was at school. And then, hmm, like, if you started school, you are a legend because, wow, like I've never started at school before. A lot, knock on wood, shoot, like. So my next story is going to be kind of like a horror story, like honestly, okay. So it actually happened recently, which is kind of gross, like it happened Christmas season, Christmas time, but okay, let's just, let's just get into it. So it was like, what, we'll say 12 o'clock, because I was at school, so it was like noon, right, okay. So I had gone to the bathroom and I changed my pad because, you know. I had to. So I changed my pad, went back to class, you know, we're just kind of chilling, doing what I was doing in class. So my dad had texted us, like, okay, we're going to go see the lights after school, or like when I pick you guys up, because it was a Friday, I think. So he was like, we're going to go see the lights, so just be ready. So school, the end of school came around, he picked us up, and we kind of, I think we went home real quick, and then we headed out. We weren't home for long enough to me or for me to change my pad or anything or even if we were I just forgot to so we got back in the car we went to go look at lights it was like six o'clock when we left the house I think but okay wow that was a lot of time Amanda why didn't you change your pad oh my god I'm so ridiculous dude that's kind of gross and on my part we headed out so we drove to one of the universities here in my city and we started driving around to look at their lights so I felt something kind of like cool in my butt area, but I didn't really think anything of it, you know, I was just kind of like, whatever. So I touched my pants, you know, nothing was wet. So I was like, okay, like, I'm fine. Well, we get home, and I look in the mirror, just, you know, to check my outfit one more time before I, like, undressed and changed. And when I turn around, I saw that there was a huge spot of blood. And so I was like, what the heck? And then I looked down in between my legs and there was another spot of blood. And I was like, oh my god, like, I probably stained the sea. Like, I probably stained everything in that car. When in reality, the stain wasn't even that big. But I was just like, oh my god, like, I was so embarrassed because what if there, like, was blood on that seat? Like, oops. But, I mean, the seats were black, so I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyways. But I was just so, like, oh, my God. Like, I was so embarrassed. And in my head, I was like, how long has that been there? Like, oh, my God. Like, nobody had told me anything, you know? So, make sure if you have a girl around you, just ask them, like, hey, like, am I okay? And then they'll check, tell you, like, you're good or, like, let's go to the bathroom real quick, you know? 
And lastly, we're gonna go over the three things that I personally like to do whenever I'm on my period. The first thing that I love to do is just lay down either on my bed or on the couch, watch YouTube videos or watch movies. This is a good way to pass the time and I'm laying down so the cramps aren't that bad since I'm not standing up. It's just kind of a great way to relax while I'm on my period and not have to do much. Then again, some people don't like to lay down all the time because it just makes them feel gross. So it's all to you, personal preference, what you want to do. The second thing that I really, really love to do is take a bunch of showers. Like, when I'm on my period, my laundry basket, like, fills up so much faster because I'm constantly in the shower or in the bathtub. And let me explain why. So usually I'll take a shower and then when I'm done washing everything and I'm all clean, I'll switch it to the bathtub and just kind of sit in there with warm water so it kind of helps my back. I know you might think it's gross, but I mean, if you shower before you do that, then are you really sitting in your own filth? Lastly, the third thing that I like to do is clean my room. So my room is de definitely not clean right now. But when I'm on my period, I do like to clean because it gives me something to do. Like, I'm not just laying down yet. I'm not doing anything too harsh that's going to hurt my back. So I'm just kind of there, you know, just cleaning up. Just doing some stuff just to be active and whatever so yeah so besides that that's really all that I have for you guys today I hope that this actually helped some of you girls out there that are just starting your period or you just did start it and you really needed somebody to hear this from but you don't have anyone there if you ever want to know a little bit more about periods or if you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video make sure to just comment them down below and I'll make sure to get back to you like I literally respond right when I get the notification for your comment so yeah my Instagram, my Twitter, as well, and my previous video links are in the number box, so make sure to go check those out. My Snapchat and you know are also down there, so make sure to add me on both of those. Make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up if it helped and if you enjoyed in any way. Let's try to get this to 35 likes because, girl, we've been getting likes good today. Or, like, not today, but, like, recently. But, yeah. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below if you have not already taken notified whenever I upload a new video. And, yeah, so I love you guys all, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.